All right, you guys ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, good. Here we go. Another, another day, another beer. <clears throat> Is it our happy hour last call? It's Jeremy, and all week I have been nerding out with some guys who might be bigger nerds than me, and I, I mean that with the utmost respect. <laughs> Ryan and Chris from Battle Mage Brewing and Vista have uh, have joined me in the studio for an, another beer, and uh, all week I've been enjoying these stories of the Battle Mage. But I'm I'm curious about you guys. What's your story? How did you come together to form Battle Mage Brewing? Uh, so we've been friends for 24 years now. I don't see how that's Somewhere possible. You guys are like 20, 21. 26, 24, 25, yeah, that range. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> uh, weird how we're only like 25 years old too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, we've, we've been best friends for a really long time. Um, definitely got into gaming together pretty early on. Um, what I feel was like, your game? Uh, EverQuest, Everquest starting out. <laughs> yeah. Um, he actually, for my birthday, leveled up, uh, a troll shadow knight a little bit and he was like hey i got you a gift not realizing that was getting me hooked for life and uh, <laughs> so many hours sunk into many a game after that um but yeah thanks it's a for blessing that, and a curse yeah, thanks for that present <laughs> That was great. Now, you know what? Um, That's a present that really shows you care. Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. I, I want to bring you along with these adventures. So, look, I started a character and did all the grunt work. Yeah. You don't want to be the only one playing for eight hours every day is what that was. Yeah. yeah. Trust then, me, having played Destiny since the alpha, I'm, I'm very aware of how it is to carry a group of friends that play the game with you. Because yes. it's always more fun with friends. Oh, yeah. It is, definitely. We've been um, brewing for probably about... 12 years a piece and when we decided we wanted to open a brewery we wanted it to be something that resonated really well with us because we are you know pretty nerdy so we went kind of a medieval modern theme because no one was doing that in san diego with the 150 plus breweries <laughs> yeah. we have and yeah. uh yeah that's how battle mage came about yeah i mean we we uh lived in separate areas when we started brewing but it was like we would talk on the phone every week and then he started home brewing and i was like i like beer i could I could try that too. Um, and then uh, we were both brewing and talking about recipes. And I think you were in the homebrew club already, Society of Barley Engineers. Yeah. I didn't have one. I was living up in the Bay Area at the time. So I started entering into competitions to get feedback. And uh, a couple competitions in, um, I won. And it was the uh, Rhythm and Brews Festival, actually, yeah! in Vista. Um, and we got to brew on Mother Earth's system. And it was like, all right, I think we should uh, look into doing this professionally. So many years later and dialing recipes, winning more homebrew awards, we uh, put together a business plan and that was Battle Mage Brewing. And now you're getting ready to celebrate your fifth anniversary this yeah. weekend. Yeah, it's yeah. wild. Wild times. All right. Well, you know, um, uh, all week we've been drinking some really good beers from you guys and you finally brought me my favorite style. You brought me an IPA. This is not your regular IPA. This is a cold IPA. And I, what kind of defines a cold IPA before we get into this beer? Oh, man, that's a tough call. I mean, it's called misnomenclature. So, um, <laughs> you know, IPL, cold IPA. But I think uh, after doing some research before we brewed the style, um, it seems like it's basically an IPA that is fermented with lager yeast a little bit warmer then you would ferment a lager. Um, yeah, we fermented this at 62, whereas a lager would normally be 50-ish. Yeah. And then a normal ale is 68, so this is kind of right in the middle. Yeah, but it's still, it's it's hopped like an IPA. Um, this one has Strata Zaka in it. And uh, it's got the bitterness, it's got the aroma and the flavor, but like just looking at it, it's like, it looks like a light lager. Oh, right? totally. It, it's, oh, it's crystal clear. It's, it's very, um, it's very. It's super light and just, it's a beautiful beer. It's got a lot yeah. of flaked rice also as the backbone of part of the malt bill, which helps keep it really crisp and clean. It also adds a certain floral note to it, too. It's it's, it's yeah. really, really good. I don't know if yeah. that's the, the interaction of that with the hops, but I'm I'm crushing this. <laughs> you yeah. poured me a full glass and it's, all, <laughs> it's almost empty. So yeah. um, you better uh, you better give me the story on the side of the candle. Where is our <laughs> battle mage headed today? Well, I should throw in real quick that this is also a collaboration for Homebrew Summer with a local homebrewer named Louis Luvieski, who uh, came and brewed with us. So we kind of scaled up his recipe. He's a phenomenal brewer, and that was a really fun collaboration to do. But a laugh about the real world, let me take you to this <laughs> fantasy realm, which, which I mostly live. It had been a long day of adventuring and drinking, but our hero was certain he had discovered a new species— it must be a subset of wyvern, but tiny and ferocious. The battle mage decided to name this species Wyvernus Pintonius. 
He drunkenly shared this discovery with the innkeep, who informed him this new species was just a rat and the battle mage had discovered nothing. Our hero cast a menacing glance and the innkeep quickly corrected himself. <laughs> you are right, sir. Enjoy another pint of ale for your discovery of the marvelous Wyvernus Pintonius. I mean, this should have been called Wyvernus Pintonius. <laughs> of course, I probably just destroyed that name trying to say it, but you know what? I am enjoying this beer. <laughs> Oh, all right. What are we pairing this with now that you've taken me on this magical journey? I know you said you wanted some Metallica, and this is something that you play. Oh. Is this? Is, oh, yeah. You said this is a song that makes it to the front of house, or is this more a brewing song? Uh, they're the same song. Yeah, they because are. Because our brewery is a, a small castle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like my favorite intro song on an album ever. It's uh, you know when you start the album and the intro song is this good, the whole album's just gonna rock. So it's a battery by Metallica. You don't need to say any more than that. <laughs> I'm I'm verklempt. What what's the ABV on this? I didn't need to ask you on the air. Six four. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. that's it's the right small. spot for the, for the glass you poured me. It drank uh, <laughs> it drank way too quick. It's super crushable. Yeah, it drinks um, like a much lighter beer, which is the dangerous part, but also the enjoyable part. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see what you bring me tomorrow. We'll have to find out then.